Well, hello YouTube, it's me Fortmaster, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 with Koth. Howdy. <laughs> Let's get back into it, shall we? Sounds good. Okay, what was I going to do? Um, I think I go, uh, who can I go to, go to war with right now? Wait, did I, uh, can I go to war? Uh, yeah, I, I need to, like, deal with these. Yeah, it says I have to be allied with them and have a, um... An opinion of plus one hundred and ninety. Oh, for uh, to be a vassal, yeah. Yeah, I'm at one hundred and seventy six, and it's going up. So, all right. So, uh, I can get is, there, there. is there anything? Can you like influence them or anything to get them higher? Uh, I've got a uh, great power influence. Sent them a gift, improving relations, alliance, guaranteed them. Mm, okay, yeah. So I think pretty much the only thing now is just you know keep improving relations. Cool. Yeah, that's at plus 94 already. I don't know, is that a max of 100, or...? Um... Hmm. I forget. Yeah, I think actually it is only 100. Um... Okay. Are you, uh... Send, uh can you send them a royal marriage? I think I already did. Yeah, it's checkmarked already. Uh, Catholic faith does not allow royal marriages with other religion groups. Ah, Oh, wait, so, what, uh, what were you trying to vassalize again? Uh, it's Jolof, over to the uh, far west coast of Africa, that little, uh, what is that color? Tan, maybe? Tan, tan. I don't think I can see them yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're on the far left side. It's kind of north, uh, northwest side of Africa. Oh, that, the, oh, the, okay, never mind. I was looking at the a complete other side. Oh, yeah, so what else could you do? Um, uh, oh, uh, did you give them subsidies? Uh, let's see, that would be economic Yes, it's, it's below send gift. Okay. Um, let's see, give subsidies. Ah, then I can see how much uh, per year, or ten years it says. Yeah. Oh, I see. Improves 0.4 age each uh, year. Up to a maximum of 15. Okay. That should almost do it then. Hopefully. I probably should have given him more, but I'm, I'm <laughs> not the richest man right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, administrative technology up to 14. Wahoo. Mm-hmm. Can now build a plantation. Delicious. <sighs> oh, I can choose a new uh, idea slot as well. Yay. <laughs> what have you gone for on those? Uh, for me, I've gone uh, exploration and expansion, because, you know, colonies. Um, right. And then I've also gone uh, defensive uh, and quality, just to get my military up. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm okay. thinking the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do another admin admin idea or another diplomatic idea group, and I'm trying to figure out which one I'm I want to do. Like, <sighs> trying to think. Um, I might do diplomatic just because with all the colonies, they take up diplomatic slots and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Aha, he is... Oh, uh, okay. 
you, I guess, merge up. I have to, I have explored the Indian Ocean now. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's see. I'm um, just pause while I, uh, the South Pacific. I mean, I guess sure. Huh. Alexandria has troops. Oh, they must be marching through my territory, I see. Yeah, because I'm at war right now. Though that, oh. They are taking the long way. Oh, man. Yeah, I was wondering what the heck they were doing there. <laughs> they must not have enough boats to no, this, transport they, their dudes. No, but like... It's not just a, ma a matter of that, but, like, look... Okay, so look where Alexandria is, and I'm currently at war with the Latin Empire. Do you see a shorter route than going around through your territory? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jeez. Are you friends with Hungary? Uh, no, I'm not. They asked me for military access. Apparently they're at war with Sicily. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I don't know why they would be. I don't think Sicily has any more any land in Europe anymore. I think they only exist in Africa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those, like, two... Provinces? Yeah, those two right there, and then there's the two that are just below Africa as well. Don't know why they... Oh, wait, no, they do have a couple of landlocked provinces, like, right next to some of theirs. Uh... Uh-oh, doomsday. Oh, no. What does that mean? Um, I'm forgetting. It's one of I. It's like the Mayan culture, like government form. There's like this ticking. There's like this counter called the do, called like the Doom Clock or something or other. I can't remember. And uh, basically, oh. if you let it reach a hundred, basically your country explodes. Oh no! <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez, you're like 10 days behind. Oh, no. Okay, got it. <clears throat> oh, I've been visited by shady people. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't really have any spy network construction to do, so I'll take the prestige. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. I oh, okay, wow. I became I am the Pope. I became Curia controller. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, what can we do? Um, Curia caused... Um, uh, absolutism, drill, unrest in Catholic provinces, uh, institution embrace cost, institution spread, ooh, um, development cost, tolerance of heathens. Let's do institution spread. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. I got a notification about that. Nice. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, uh, wait a second. Is there any of Swabia that I haven't controlled yet? Oh, wait, there's this one little one right here. Oh, that, yeah, that's controlled by Swabia, too. Sure. Oh, and this one, too. Why, uh, why are these provinces not being taken? Oh, jeez, what is this? Jeez, hell, it's... Oh, of course, over here. Ah, uh -huh. I gotta help convert the land in my colonies. <laughs> yeah, I was... I just zoomed into Mexico, and I could see them in there. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, my unrest hasn't been too terrible. I've been using a little bit of military uh, power to keep them <laughs> under control. Yep. My last conversion process was really expensive. It was like seven ducats a a month or something like that. Really? Maybe it was a year. I don't know. Whatever the metric is. That's already 30% complete, though, and I just sent him over there. <laughs> well, okay, then. <laughs> He's working fast. <laughs> they were they were very easy to, con to convince. <laughs> That's right. It's all the ones down around uh, uh, the Cape, mm -hmm. Africa. I've been uh, converting all of those here lately, so. <laughs> well, that's good. I think they're getting easier with each one. Oh, we got risky trade going on now. Oh, no. Come on, one more province, and then I'm good to go. Yeah, the burgers are getting a little strong anyway, so I'm going to not worry about it. <laughs> Come on, just that one last province. What's taking you so long? I'm pretty sure I asked before if there was a benefit to having uh, burgers, clergy, or nobility as, like, superior. I, well, the whole thing is, like, obviously you want them to be happy, but you don't want them to have a lot of power. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it, uh, uh, so, like, if they're happy, uh, if you have them happy, then let's, because uh, because of the government reforms, I've gotten rid of the, uh, uh, I've gotten rid of one of mine. I forget which what nobles. So I only oh, have yeah. I only have clergy and burghers. But like uh, right now, my clergy are sixty four percent happy. So I'm getting an additional twenty percent uh, taxes, um, uh, and minus ten percent cost to stabil to buying stability, and plus one papal influence year a uh, year. Oh wow! And then because of my because my burgers are only at fifty one percent, they're only giving me an, a twenty percent uh, more uh, trade efficiency. Aha! Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm only at plus ten percent on those. All my guys are around fifty percent happiness, though. So. Mm-hmm. What, wait, what uh, What territory don't I control? So, yeah, I got all of three. Is... No? Uh, just give me a second. I got... Uh, I hate... Oh, are you kidding me? That one little... Mm. Seriously, that one province is what's keeping me from 100. Of course. Oh yeah, don't tell anyone, but I just colonized Easter Island. <laughs> <laughs> it's like considered an Easter egg. <laughs> Come on. No, no, stop, Swabia, stop. I shall, I shall make, 
I will take what I want. I am one province away from doing it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Seriously, I'm still not at 100%. Okay, wait, give me a second. I'm going to see. What am I not controlling here? So I got that. I've gotten that. Got that stuff. What, are they... Have they occupied some of my territory and I don't know? No. Occupied by Hungary. Are they occupying land anywhere? Okay. Why don't I have 100%? Oh, wait. Are they, they are occupying somewhere. Where is that? Taiwan? Taiwan. Where's Taiwan? Uh, give me a second. I gotta find this. Go for it. Oh, pfft. oh, of course. Never mind. Uh, one little tiny province I out of the way, and one of my subjects is already desieging it. Oh no. Okay, still not at one hundred percent. It is only possible to get a hundred war score complete victory if the winning side controls all of the losing side's provinces. Uh, no, yeah, well, I know that. Okay, let's try to get peace deal out of this anyway. Uh, can't make you a vassal, unfortunately. So when Are I'm you... looking, oh sorry, I was wondering, uh, is there a way for me to see what my uh, governing cost is for a specific province? Uh, what do you mean governing cost? Do you mean like maintenance cost? I think so. Um. Okay. So if you go to a province, and yeah, so if you go to the state view on a province, at the very top, you'll see two uh, two mounts. The first one is state income. And huh. and the one just below it is maintenance. I see. Okay. So, so if I go to my capital, if I can find it. Um, so the entire state that my capital is in brings in an income of just under fifteen and a half ducats. But the uh but the maintenance for it is just over one ducat. So I'm making about fourteen and a half uh like uh ducats in uh, profit. Okay. Me personally, I've never run into a situation where the where the maintenance like gets higher than the out than the income. Oh, I see. Good. Yeah, I was wondering about the importance of building uh, state buildings like courthouses and um, what's this one? A state house. It reduces local autonomy and um, reduces governing costs. But well, I mean, the the local autonomy is the is the main thing with that because you know auton the more autonomous. A province is the less tax and goods produced you get from it. Okay. So, like, this one, it's only, like, two point... It's, it's only 3% autonomous, uh, but because of that, I get, like, just over 1% less tax and naval mod naval force modifier and just all that sort of stuff from it. I see. Okay, so I found out why I was not 100... There was literally two provinces that I were not, was not controlling. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, I, this is why I hate these maps, just because... Uh, this map, just because, like, it carries over, like, the complete border gore from CK2. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Come on. 
That's one. That's two. Still not at a hundred, of course. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm. Go I'm. I'm done. I'm done with you. I guess war operations. I'll release you. Maybe I can turn you into a vassal since you're happy. I released you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now I, uh, now the long part, I'm sorry for taking so long with this. No problem, man. Istanbul, Constantinople, Istanbul, Constantinople. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just threw down a bunch of churches. Get that income rolling it. Wonderful. My income isn't too bad, but I just keep spending it all. Yeah, that's the that's sort of the <laughs> thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Joloff is at 190. Wahoo! I have a new vassal. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, there's that. Oh. Oh, I must wait a day until the next peace treaty. Okay. Now Byzant Byzantium now once again controls Constantinople. Ooh. Yeah, I uh, I have no idea how Crete has land or had uh, has cores up here in northern Italy. Oh? Yeah. Um, but actually, wait, can I go to war with the Pope? Yes, I can, but I would have a lot, I would have to fight a lot of people. <laughs> hmm. Maybe in a bit. There you go. Now, if you go to war with the Papal States, let me know, because they have St. Helena, an island off the coast of Africa that I want. <laughs> sure, I'll call you in. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, that is just so weird, seeing the Pope colonize. <laughs> oh, no, I got a stability drop. My oh, my old uh, monarch has decided to die a little too soon. The heir isn't quite ready to assume the role, uh, so Katarina, my um, empress consort, is ruling. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. That's not terrible, though. She seems to be decent. <laughs> seems to be. We'll have to see. <laughs> right. She's got incorruptible, which drops my yearly corruption. So I guess that's what I would consider de decent. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Yes, you can go back home now. Whew. Peasant unrest, eh? Coventry! Yeah. Got an army. English peasants. 